वेलकम टू एक्सचेंज सर्वर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एक्सचेंज सर्वर माइग्रेशन स्टेप्स माइग्रेटिंग एन एग्जिस्टिंग मैसेजिंग सिस्टम टू एक्सचेंज ऑनलाइन इज ए कॉम्प्लेक्स टास्क दैट इंक्लूड्स मैनी वेरिएबल्स सच एज द क्लाइंट प्रोटोकॉल एंड मैसेजिंग सिस्टम दैट आर यूज एंड द साइज ऑफ योर सिस्टम हाउ एवर इफ यू डिसाइड टू माइग्रेट ऑल ऑफ द मेल बॉक्सेज टू द एक्सचेंज ऑनलाइन मोस्ट माइग्रेशन फॉलोज द जनरल पैटर्न सो लेट सी वॉट इज दैट जनरल पैटर्न First connect directory and messaging routing to Exchange Online. As mentioned previously, if you establish a connection to Exchange Online, your existing email directory synchronizes to the Exchange Online. Depending on your source directory, you can use the directory synchronization tool to synchronize the Exchange Online directory. If you have a legacy system, you can use other tools such as a .csv file and be sure that all existing SMTP addresses in the source messaging system should exist in the exchange online. Otherwise, you will lose messages when you configure the MX record after the migration. Also verify that the existing messaging system can send messages to exchange online. Migrate the mailboxes. Choose the migration method that uses either Microsoft tool or third party tool. You can perform a stage migration or you can migrate everything at the same time. The optimal option depends on the organization size, the existing messaging environment and other factors as well. Switch the MX record so that it points to the exchange online. By switching this record, you cause all inbound message traffic to flow directly to the exchange online. After you make these changes, you will no longer see many messages in your local messaging system. If messages continue to be sent to your local messaging system, you should investigate that why the sending messaging system is not using the updated MX record. Finalize the migration and remove the old mailbox server. You should check that are you able to access the mailbox or not or inbound and outbound messages are flowing through your system or not. And once you shut down everything and if everything is working fine, you can remove the old mail server from the data center and retire them. Let's also see the best practices for the implementing migration. When you implement migration to exchange online, you should remember the best practice such as to test on premises exchange server or SMTP server from the internet. Use the Microsoft remote connectivity analyzer tool. Test the migration option before you move production mailboxes. Always you can try to move a test mailbox first and then consider moving production mailboxes to the exchange online. You can start slowly and speed up after everything is working. At the beginning, move mailboxes only for user who can manage with a short outage. After you gain the confidence that the hybrid deployment works reliably, move the other mailboxes as well. Do not change the MX record resource until you know that the migration option is working. In a hybrid deployment, always use the hybrid configuration wizard app. This app is a standalone application and it provides a wizard that handles all the necessary configuration setting for you and also is able to investigate the issues. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video.